direction. Hello again, here we are with the four trompe l'oeil scarves. So I've shown you two of them, here's the remaining two. Halfway there. Now this design was based on Shetland knitwear and I use the way they use the patterns and stripes and you can see one way or another with a nice solid centre. So you're going to have to use some imagination here. Imagine I'm on the beach in the bikini. What could be better than a, just a nice flash of colour, give you that extra bit of confidence. You just wrap it round your waist. It's not a sarong, but it's almost as good, even better. There you go. You could wear it around the skirt or a summer frock as well, because you've got so much to play with. And it just, the pattern and everything just lends itself to this sort of shape. Take it off again, keeping the triangle. Whoops, it came out of the triangle, never mind. Got the triangle, just simply twist, draw that back, you can tuck it around or we'll start with the triangle at the front. Swap the sides around there and just leave it hanging. This again is an ultra, ultra fashionable way of wearing a scarf. Right, got to go, doorbell. your watering can. Okay, back again after the delivery. Best laid plans of mice and men. This is the final scarf. You think it's monochrome? Please don't think it's monochrome. There is so much colour in here. It's just that the palette is limited and it means it's so versatile. With this, I'm going to fold it like that, fold it like that. So it's in four, but you've got the whole length to play with. And what could be better than using this like a cravat? You've got a lovely weight around your neck without it being stifling or cooking you. Just cross over or just one simple knot. And the bottom just fans out. You've got all the colour there and a big chunky winter coat on top. It's not going to fight. It's nice, it's light, it's loose. Finally, we can follow our wonderful queen. God bless her, who's often to be seen with a scarf round her head. I'm having a little bit of difficulty here, but we should get there. There you go, triangle again. Now the Queen's often seen with a headscarf and she wears it wonderfully. You just on your head and again, a knot around your chin. Look at that. And if you want to go even further and get the dark sunglasses, you can carry it around your neck and be like Audrey Hepburn or Jackie Onassis. There you go. So that concludes. I've got a final shot where I want to prove my point that these scarves are not just for ladies, women, girls, 
females, whatever. Here we go. Now well, we're going to have to swap over videos and scarves, but I'm going to put this on the wonderful cameraman. Yay! Round of applause for the cameraman. I'm going to disappear here. It's on top of him. I'm going to take the camera. Whoops. Big thumbs. Turn it around and he's going to model it. See how nice it looks on top of his brand new shirt. Just a simple knot. Eat a heart out, Peter Mould. What could be nicer? So that's that. Hope you've picked up some tips and I hope you like my scarves. They're all available on my website. Just go to the Trompe Roy collection and there'll be more to come. Bye.